Hi, in this video I will introduce the idea of wave-particle duality. You will recall that light typically behaves as a wave. It has a frequency and a wavelength. It can be polarised and superposed. In fact, there are some behaviours of light, such as the diffraction in Jung's double slit experiment, that can only be explained by wave theory. However, in an earlier video you learned about the photoelectric effect. Einstein's Nobel Prize winning explanation for this required us to treat light as particles, photons. So is light a wave or a particle? About 100 years ago, American physicists Davison and Germer fired a beam of electrons at a thin crystal of nickel metal. On the screen behind the crystal, they observed a series of concentric rings, a diffraction pattern. Now a diffraction can only be explained if these electrons are behaving as waves. So does this mean that electrons are waves or particles? The answer to both of these questions is they are both. Depending on the circumstances, light sometimes behaves like a wave, generally when it's travelling, and sometimes behaves like a particle, generally when it's interacting with something else. Similarly, particles such as electrons can also behave as both waves and particles. This is known as wave-particle duality. A few years before Davison and Germer's discovery of the wave nature of electrons, Louis de Broglie hypothesised that particles can behave as waves and that they have a wavelength, known as a de Broglie wavelength, that can be calculated as the Planck constant divided by the particle's momentum. Since a particle's momentum changes with velocity, it means that its de Broglie wavelength also changes. Let's calculate the de Broglie wavelength of an electron travelling at 2.0 times 10 to the power of 7 metres per second. Well, we know that uh, the de Broglie wavelength lambda can be calculated by h divided by the momentum mv, and from our data sheet we can find that both the Planck constant h equals 6.63 times 10 to the power of minus 34 joule seconds, and the mass, the rest mass of an electron, which is 9.11 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 31 kilograms. So the de Broglie wavelength for this electron would be 6.63 times 10 to the power of minus 34 divided by 9.11 times 10 to the power of minus 31 multiplied by 2 Point zero times 10 to the 7 and that gives us a wavelength of 3.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 11 meters. So that is the de Broglie wavelength for, a, for an electron at that particular velocity. Finally let's consider what would happen to a diffraction pattern formed by a beam of these electrons if we increase their velocity. Would the fringe spacing become larger or smaller? So increasing velocity means that momentum, mv or p, increases. And since lambda equals h over mv, that must mean that the wavelength decreases. A smaller wavelength will mean less diffraction, so the separation between the fringes will get smaller. 